This video is about a sense of proximity, or you could say a spatial sense of your experience. Starting with oneself, the general kind of approach and intention is to come as close into experience as possible. And this is sort of contrasted to a more mental observation from a distance which just notices and makes commentary and has its own ideas about what's going on. Uh, but there's a sense of distance there. It's more in the head, in the mind, uh, noticing, as it were, from afar. So the approach is to come more directly and vividly into the experience of what's going on. And that is the body, the emotions and mood very generally. And to integrate them with the mind, so that mind isn't, as it were, a separate thing in its own world, creating what's going on. So the meditation on the breath is a very, very good way of exercising this sense of proximity. So you have the intention in the beginning of the meditation to come into the sense of the body and yourself sitting here and then come into the experience of the breath. So that the intention or the direction is clear. So then you start to actually apply your attention to the experience, the sense, the sensations, the qualities, the feeling of the breath in the whole range and distance that the breath is felt, right from the nose, right down into the lower belly. And start to get a sense of your distance. Are you, are you sort of just noticing it from afar? Uh, and you then start to kind of get a very clear direction from your mind to get closer. So get closer, closer in. It's You're in the right vicinity now, but you're still not in it, coming closer and closer. And what happens is that the, the awareness, the mind, and the actual experience of the breath at a certain point become inimical. They, become, they come together. You become absorbed in that experience. So that, you know, the word immersion sometimes or absorbed are used for what we're aiming for. So having a sense of distance, how close am I, how far am I, is very useful. And having clear directions to come closer is also very useful. Now for some people, the way that they pay attention to things is really too hard, uh, too forced. And they, as it were, for want of a better term, sort of smush their attention right into what they're paying attention to. And this is, well, it's just too hard really. It doesn't allow a sensitivity of what is here to emerge. So there's a sense of balance here. Mostly, one needs to be more attentive, to come closer, to be more in experience. But sometimes one needs to back off a bit and actually be a bit more open and receptive and allow the, uh, the object, in this case the breath, to actually breathe, <laughs> quite literally, uh, to have space and to be perceived. If you're too close, you can't see it, you can't feel it. So in this way, you play with the sense of proximity with the breath. You get a sense of what your attention is like if it's too soft, too lax, or too hard, too pushy. And start to get the sense of, ah, oh, this is, yeah, this is it. I'm on it. I'm on the ball now. Stay with it. 
and that sense of just the right kind of attention in that moment to become immersed and absorbed within the experience of the breath.